Barbara Streisand's net worth is even higher than her notes. After a career spanning six decades as an actor and a singer, Barbara Streisand has earned herself a fortune. Let's find out how the funny girl star made her millions. And with all that dough, how does Barbara spend it all? Stay tuned until the end to find out the unexpected ways Barbara Streisand spends her millions. What is Barbara Streisand's net worth? Barbara Streisand, an American singer, songwriter, actress, and filmmaker hailing from Brooklyn, New York, boasts a net worth of $400 million. Streisand's journey commenced during her teenage years, performing at nightclubs before gradually ascending to notable guest appearances on television shows like The Tonight Show and PM East PM West. Her career gained significant momentum with a pivotal role in the Broadway production of Funny Girl. Since then, Streisand has ascended to global stardom. Renowned as one of the most successful recording artists in history, she has achieved over 10 top 10 albums and garnered multiple Grammy awards. During her tours, Barbara emerges as one of the highest-earning female musicians globally, raking in an impressive income ranging from $60 to $80 million. Barbara Streisand's life and career spanning six decades. From a young age, Streisand exhibited a natural talent for singing that captivated those around her. She fondly recalls singing in the hallway of her building in Brooklyn at the age of five, drawing attention to her remarkable voice. Growing up without a father, her singing prowess became an integral part of her identity. During her teenage years, Streisand began performing at various venues across the New York club circuit, honing her craft and gaining recognition. Her breakthrough came when she secured a record deal, marking the start of her illustrious career. Streisand's debut hit, People, soared to number five on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1964, laying the foundation for her enduring success. Over the span of more than six decades, she has amassed a plethora of accolades, including Grammy, Emmy, Oscar, and Tony Awards. Notably, she holds the distinction of being the only artist to achieve a number one album in six consecutive decades, a testament to her unparalleled talent and enduring appeal. As of now, Streisand's discography includes 36 studio albums, nine compilation albums, seven live albums, 15 soundtracks, and 117 singles. With this extensive body of work, she ranks among the best-selling female musical artists in history, boasting 52 gold and 32 platinum albums. Her remarkable talent has earned her 10 Grammy Awards, along with prestigious honors such as the Grammy's Lifetime Achievement Award and Legend Award. One of Streisand's standout albums, the collaborative effort with Barry Gibb of the Bee Gees titled Guilty, 1980, sold approximately 15 million copies worldwide, solidifying her place as a music icon. Even before streaming numbers were factored into sales figures, Streisand was recognized as one of the top-selling artists by the Recording Industry Association of America in 2016. She held the impressive rank of number 10 alongside legendary acts like The Beatles, Elvis Presley, and Michael Jackson making her the sole woman in the top 10 list. Overall, Streisand has sold over 150 million records globally. Beyond her success in the recording industry, Streisand has also made waves with her concert tours, setting box office records along the way, notably her 2006 American Streisand. The tour, comprising 20 shows, grossed an astounding 92,457,062 further solidifying her status as a powerhouse performer. Barbara Streisand's films and acting. Barbara Streisand's talents extend beyond music. She has left an indelible mark on the film industry as well. Her acting debut in the 1968 film adaptation of Funny Girl not only earned her critical acclaim, but also garnered her an Academy Award for Best Actress. This achievement was historic as Streisand became the first woman to win an Oscar for both acting and singing. 
Streisand's acting career flourished further with memorable roles in films like The Way We Were, 1973, and Yentl, 1983, where she also showcased her directorial skills. In addition to her iconic roles, Streisand played a significant part in the original 1976 adaptation of A Star is Born. Interestingly, Lady Gaga sought Streisand's guidance before stepping into the role for the 2018 remake, and Streisand gave her approval. Despite both actresses receiving Academy Awards nominations for their performances, Streisand later retracted her blessing and criticized Lady Gaga's portrayal. However, the film was a commercial success, grossing $436 million worldwide, despite Streisand's reservations. Barbara Streisand Behind the Camera Barbara Streisand's talents transcend performing and acting. She has also demonstrated her skill behind the camera. Her directorial debut with Yentl highlighted her as a versatile artist capable of excelling in different facets of filmmaking. The film received critical acclaim and achieved success at the box office, contributing to Streisand's wealth. Streisand went on to direct and produce more films, imprinting her distinctive style on each project. Her adeptness at navigating the intricate landscape of Hollywood, both as an actress and a filmmaker. Barbara Streisand Fragrances Barbara Streisand expanded her horizons by entering the world of perfumery with the launch of her own line of fragrances. Under the brand Barbara Streisand Fragrances, she offered a variety of scents that reflected her personal touch. Renowned for her discerning taste, Streisand's participation in crafting distinctive fragrances lent an air of authenticity to her brand. The line provided an opportunity for her fans to connect with her on a deeper level, embracing her style and essence through the endorsed products. Barbara Streisand's copyrights and royalties. Barbara Streisand's extensive discography continues to generate revenue through royalties and copyrights. Her music is timeless, and as it continues to be streamed, played on radio stations, and used in various media, the income from these sources remains steady. Additionally, her involvement in songwriting and arrangement ensures that she receives a share of the profits from her compositions. Barbara Streisand's Media and Publishing Barbara Streisand's influence reaches into the media and publishing sectors as well. Her memoir, My Passion for Design, released in 2010, offers readers insights into her love for architecture and interior design. The book gives a glimpse into her home's design philosophies and personal aesthetics. Through her writing, Streisand connects with her audience on a deeper level, sharing her passions and interests beyond her artistic performances. Perhaps Streisand's success can be attributed to her strong personality. Throughout her career, she's been famously dubbed as challenging to work with, criticized for being so set in her ways. So she's a perfectionist concedes music director Michael Kosarin to the New York Times. Most geniuses are perfectionists. Look at Steve Jobs. Yet that perfectionism has kept her in demand professionally. And as of this writing, Streisand has amassed a sizable fortune, with Forbes estimating her net worth at a pretty $400 million. So with all that dough, how does the Yentl star spend it all? Well, it turns out, she's well known for being a collector of rare finds and sought-after antiques. Or, at least, she once was. As she told House Beautiful in 1974, I really don't care for possessions now. I find them an obligation and not necessary to my emotional health. Let's find out the unexpected ways Barbara Streisand spends her millions. Barbara Streisand elevates the shopping mall experience to a whole new level. Ah, the mall. A quintessential part of American culture. In their heyday, many would flock to malls not just for the consumer experience, but to meet with friends or grab a bite to eat. For Barbara Streisand, she doesn't even have to leave her own home. The funny girl actor is notorious for her love of collecting quirky objects, so she figured... Why not find a place to store them all? 
As she revealed to Harper's Bazaar, Streisand felt inspiration strike after a trip to the decorative arts museum, Winterthur, in Delaware, which included a series of early 19th century shops used as displays. Instead of just storing my things in my basement, I can make a street of shops and display them, she explained. Sure enough, Streisand bolted home to her $100 million Malibu compound and got to work. The result? Per Harper's Bazaar, the Star's Mall, boasts an antique shop, a gift shop, an antique clothes shop, a doll shop, and even a sweet shop. One may wonder, does Barbara Streisand have cash registers for her personal playground? Of course not. You can do that if it's your own mall, she so wisely pointed out to the mag. Always the entertainer, Streisand is known to invite fellow A-listers, such as Lady Gaga, Ryan Murphy, Kelly Preston, and John Travolta. The best part? She even has a waiting bench for men to sit on while their better halves shop away. Her collection of Art Deco and Art Nouveau furnishings. Barbara Streisand has always been a collector. During an interview with House Beautiful in 1974, the funny girl revealed that she began her quest for collecting antiques and vintage pieces in her teens, scouring vintage shops in her native New York. As she grew her professional career, her personal collection and taste began to flourish as well. As she writes in My Passion for Design, Streisand began to buy Art Nouveau furniture after receiving her first paycheck from Broadway. She references an Emile Galley cabinet that was so big, she had nowhere to put it in her then modest home, deciding to pay for it in installments and store it in the shop's basement. I had never seen furniture like this, she recalled, describing the Tiffany lamps, Art Nouveau bronze, and Vienna secession pewter. Dubbing these finds as eye candy, the actor claims that they nourish her soul to this day. While Streisand's love for Art Nouveau may still be apparent after all these decades, her obsession with the geometric shapes of the Art Deco movement also began in the mid-70s and ended in 1994 after she spent five years renovating her home at the time to match the specific style. Writing in her book that the process was an ordeal, she notes, by the time it was over, I never wanted to look at Art Deco again. Barbara Streisand has a passion for collecting artwork from influential painters, similar to how Barbara Streisand began collecting specific styles of antique furnishings when she achieved success on Broadway, she also delved into collecting artwork. In a revealing interview with the New York Times, Streisand shared that in 1964, after her Funny Girl debut on Broadway, she diligently saved enough money from her $2,500 a week salary to purchase a small Henri Matisse painting. This, she affirmed, marked her first major art acquisition. Over the years, the iconic A-lister has amassed a significant collection of artwork from notable painters, including Vincent van Gogh's 1885 piece Peasant Woman with Child on Her Lap, which she has loaned to a museum. Being a collector of fine art proves to be lucrative, as Streisand's treasures fetch substantial sums when she decides to part with them. She acquired a Gustav Klimt painting in 1969 for 17,000 hours, later selling it for 650 Kailand. Similarly, according to Reuters, Streisand auctioned off a Keys Van Dongen painting worth 200 Janden in 2009. Interestingly, it appears that Streisand incorporates paintings as focal points for her interior design inspirations as well. As she detailed in My Passion for Design, a rare oil portrait by Paul César Hello was acquired before she began designing her Malibu home, with Streisand always envisioning the room it adorns in shades of blue with brown wood accents. She earns and spends millions by trading stocks. Barbara Streisand has earned a reputation as a diva in the entertainment industry. While some stories about her behavior might seem exaggerated, she's undeniably astute when it comes to business. Surprisingly, the Hello Dolly actor has found success in stock trading. In 2020, 
Streisand is an early riser, waking up at 6.30 a.m. almost every morning to check the opening of the New York stock market. This isn't a recent interest for her either. Back in 1999, she revealed to Fortune magazine that she made a $130,000 trading eBay stock in just one month. She explained that trading stocks fit well into her schedule, noting, I'm making an album now, but I can make an album at the same time as I can trade stocks. So how does she decide where to invest her money? Streisand finds inspiration in her daily life, sitting her investment in Starbucks stock as an example, because she frequents the coffee chain regularly. She's also generous with her knowledge, offering investment advice to those close to her. In a notable example, her friend Donna Caron entrusted her with $1 million to invest in 1998. Thanks to Streisand's guidance, Caron nearly doubled her investment, walking away with $1.8 million. Barbara Streisand had her dog cloned. In a February 2018 interview with Variety, Barbara Streisand made headlines when she revealed that she had her dog cloned. The news sparked widespread interest, and less than a week later, the Yentl star penned an article for the New York Times, providing insight into her decision. Streisand explained that she was deeply saddened by the loss of her beloved dog, Samantha, whom she had for 14 years. Wanting to keep a part of Samantha with her, she decided to explore the possibility of cloning after learning that a friend had cloned their own dog. Taking cells from Samantha while she was still alive, Streisand sent them to Viagen Pets for the cloning procedure. Though the cost was steep, estimated at $100,000 by National Geographic, it was a price Streisand was willing to pay. To her surprise, the cloning resulted in not one, but four dogs. Unfortunately, one of them passed away, leaving Streisand with three. Finding it overwhelming to care for all three, she decided to give one away and kept the other two. Reflecting on the experience, Streisand acknowledged that while the cloned dogs resembled Samantha in appearance, they could never replace her unique personality. Nonetheless, she finds comfort in seeing their faces, which reminds her of Samantha and brings a smile to her face. Barbara Streisand gifted Disney stock to George Floyd's daughter. George Floyd's tragic death on May 25, 2020, ignited a series of protests nationwide, drawing global attention to the Black Lives Matter movement and sparking activism around the world. Notable figures from the entertainment industry, including Paul McCartney advocating for racial equality and street artist Banksy unveiling poignant artwork, joined the chorus of voices speaking out against injustice. Barbara Streisand, too, lent her voice to the cause and went a step further. On June 13, 2020, Floyd's daughter, Gianna Gigi Floyd, shared on her Instagram page that Streisand had sent her Disney stock along with two of her albums, My Name is Barbara and Color Me Barbara. Expressing her gratitude, Gianna thanked Streisand, stating, I am now a Disney stockholder thanks to you. While the exact number of shares strays and gifted remains unknown, CNBC's Make It highlights the potential profitability of investing in the Walt Disney Company. According to the outlet, investing $1,000 in Disney a decade ago could yield over $4,600 as of February 25, 2020, representing a remarkable return of approximately 370%. She has an 18th century style barn on her compound. Barbara Streisand's stunning 100 million Malibu Estate is a haven for design enthusiasts. While much attention has been drawn to the extravagant mall in its basement, there's another unique feature on her property that deserves mention. In her book, My Passion for Design, Streisand enthusiastically introduces her latest project, An Elegant Barn. She shares her lifelong fascination with barns, often stopping to admire old farmhouses during her antiquing excursions along Route 7 in Connecticut. In the early 90s, when her interest in 18th century antiques blossomed, she decided to merge her love for barns with her newfound passion. Despite the contrasting styles, Streisand was determined to create something harmonious. 
The outcome is a charming red and white barn, complete with a chicken coop that provides her with fresh eggs daily. Over time, she enhanced the barn's appeal, adding a remarkable 4,000-pound water wheel, as detailed by Harper's Bazaar. According to Streisand, the barn is treated like a bed and breakfast, offering a cozy retreat without the need to travel. The space is equipped with modern comforts, including a frozen yogurt machine and a designated napping room, making it an ideal spot for a relaxing staycation. Barbara Streisand runs her own charitable foundation. Amidst all the extravagance of Barbara Streisand's estate, it's important to recognize her charitable endeavors as well. In 1986, she established the Streisand Foundation, which has since made significant contributions exceeding $18 million to various causes. These include environmental issues, women's rights, civil rights, race relations, AIDS research, and children and youth-related initiatives. Marjorie Tabankin, a close friend of Streisand's, has served as the executive director of her foundation since 1987. Tabankin emphasizes Streisand's hands-on approach, noting that she personally oversees every decision, regardless of the amount involved. In 2007, they shifted their focus to women's issues after discovering the gender disparity in medical research, with Streisand ensuring that her philanthropy aligns with her values and passions. Speaking to the Harvard Business Review, Streisand explained her approach to philanthropy, emphasizing her commitment to making a difference in areas she feels passionately about. While her foundation provides numerous smaller grants throughout the year, Streisand typically directs the majority of her philanthropic efforts towards a single priority area at any given time. In the end, Barbara Streisand realizes that her cherished possessions aren't meant to last forever. Considering that Barbara Streisand once had just two rooms to store her belongings back in the mid-1970s, it's hard to imagine how many more treasures she has accumulated over the years. It's no surprise, then, that someone like her might feel the need for a therapeutic decluttering session. In 2009, Streisand decided to auction off over 400 personal items that she had collected over 67 years, spanning across her residences in Beverly Hills, Malibu, and New York City. The auction, conducted by Julian's Auctions, featured a wide array of items from Streisand's personal collection, including some of her earliest antique purchases from her days in New York, as well as memorable movie costumes from films like Funny Lady, Yentl, Meet the Fockers, and The Way We Were. The auction managed to raise a total of $2,986,810, with all proceeds benefiting the Streisand Foundation. Streisand expressed her sentiment towards the auction, stating, What good does it do in storage? Let someone else enjoy it. These things, they're not forever. We pass them on and reap the benefits for something important. In conclusion, Barbara Streisand's lifestyle is a fascinating blend of glamour, philanthropy, and unique personal passions. From her opulent Malibu compound to her charitable endeavors and eclectic collections, she continues to captivate audiences worldwide. What aspect of Barbara Streisand's lifestyle intrigues you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exclusive content. See you next time.